is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. In today's episode, we're going to be doing a PSA about shotgun fungus. Now, I had no clue what shotgun fungus was until someone came into our, uh, into our shop asking about black dots all over their house and they thought it was fly poop. And I also thought it was fly poop because I've had these black dots all over my house and we have a lot of flies in the area, so I thought it was flies. But the more I got to, to, uh, to doing research and talking to this person, um, the more I started to realize that we both were the victim of shotgun fungus. Now, I had no clue what shotgun fungus was prior to, uh, prior to this even happening. I'd never even heard of it. And so when I realized that I had it, I thought, this is a really good teaching opportunity for all of you because it does have to do with gardening. It does have to do with around the home. And I think a lot of people probably don't even know what shotgun fungus is. So if you do know what shotgun fungus is, this video will hopefully just kind of help you all prevent it or eliminate it. But also, if you don't know what shotgun fungus is, hopefully this will not only inform you, but also teach you how to eliminate it or prevent it. So shotgun fungus is a fungus. And so it's, it's, uh, it's a, you know, it's a mushroom basically that will, uh, it'll grow up through mulch and when it blooms, it actually will uh, explode. Now, when it explodes, it can shoot its spores up to 20 feet in any direction. So within a 20 foot radius, it can, it can spatter its spores. Now, the crazy thing about the spores is once you get them and once they embed themselves onto your siding or your windows or even your cars, they cannot come off. They won't come off. You can scrub them, you can power wash them, you can do whatever you, whatever you would like to do to them and they embed and they stick. And I, like I said, I did not even know that this was as, as widespread of a problem as it is. But once I started looking at my house, I'm telling you, you'll look at your house in a whole different light. Once you start to see these little black fly poop specks all over your home, you cannot unsee them. They are everywhere, you guys, everywhere. And the crazy thing is, is that I, about two years ago, I tried power washing them off. I thought they were flies. Like I said, we have a lot of flies in our area, a lot of flies, those little kind of metallic green flies. They are by the hundreds every summer. If you open up a door, you guaranteed get one in your house. There's so many of them that I thought it's fly poop. So I went to, I went to power wash them off and lo and behold, it didn't, it didn't even, uh, didn't even affect it. They were still there just as many as there were. I could not clean them. And so, um, like I said, this is a PSA to hopefully, uh, you know, prevent you all from, uh, from getting it. But also if you do start to notice the signs eradicating it, because once you have shotgun fungus, it doesn't just go away. It stays there and it lives there because it's a spore. It spreads and then it multiplies and where it multiplies is in bagged mulch. So many people use commercially available uh, bagged mulch. It could be colored mulch, it could be natural mulch. Bagged mulch is the number one culprit of shotgun fungus. So the first step to preventing shotgun fungus is by not actually using bagged mulch. Now, if you do use bagged mulch, the second way to prevent it is by using weed fabric. Weed fabric will create a barrier from the soil to the mulch, so there's a little bit of a barrier there that helps to reduce the moisture and the contact that the mulch has with the soil so that shotgun fungus has less of a, has less of a medium to grow in and to, to thrive. So that's another way that you can help to reduce shotgun fungus. The third way that you can help reduce shotgun fungus is by actually spraying your mulch with a copper fungicide. This is something that if you start to see signs of it or if you want to prevent it, you can do that. Now this does require very diligent spraying and we're talking once every other month, you have to go come back and spray and spray because shotgun fungus actually will bloom at any time of the year. It is an all seasons fungus. Certain funguses like for instance, morels, morels will bloom in the springtime. They're a springtime mushroom. You know, you have, may have chanterelles that come in spring and fall or stuff like that. There's certain seasons. However, with shotgun fungus, there is no season. Anytime the conditions are right, they can bloom. So spraying on a regular basis with copper fungicide is a good way to eradicate it and control it. Now the fourth way to controlling it is by planting plants. Ground covers and other bushes can actually help kind of block 
the soil where it actually pops up through. And rather than land on your house, it hits the leaves, it hits the foliage. So with things like ground covers, ivies, creeping ivies, uh, your English ivies, creeping thyme, lots of different ground covers are phenomenal at covering the ground. Well, that's great because it helps you to kind of, again, cover the soil. It helps to protect the soil and uh, you know kind of protect your overall landscaping around the house. But uh, it doesn't do you a whole lot of good if the shotgun fungus is coming from the garden. You know, If you mulch your garden and your garden's too close to your home, there's not a whole lot you can do to ground cover it. I mean, I guess you could probably plant like strawberries. Strawberries are, are a good ground cover, but you know, planting things like, like this next to your home, you know, this, uh, this uh, uh, buckthorn right here, this buckthorn um, plant is, it's, you know, it's, it's a decent, it's a decent uh, kind of medium height foliage plant that it's kind of, it has enough volume, I guess you could say, to block anything coming up from the soil where if it hits it, it's gonna spatter on the leaves rather than the windows and the siding. So planting things like small bushes or shrubs, planting greenery and ground cover around the house can actually really help. Don't just apply mulch, because if you apply mulch, there's nothing to protect it. So make sure you plant that mulch out near your home, or if it's your garden, make sure your garden is far enough away from your home so it's not within that 20 foot radius. All right, now I wanna show you the damage that this stuff does. This is crazy and we'll end on this because I think once you see just how damaging this stuff is, you'll really, like I said, you'll double check your house. I guarantee it because once you see it, you can't unsee it. It is, so, I mean, most people when they come over to our house, they never even see it. They, you would tell them, you see those black dots? They probably never even saw it. But once you look up close when it comes to selling your home or just looking at your home in a different light, you can't unsee it. You cannot unsee it. So this is also a good note if you're going to buy a home and if you see it on the house, just know there's an issue. And so also I thought I'd mention the other way to completely kind of eradicate the issue is to not use mulch at all. You can actually completely scrape any of that, any of that um, contaminated mulch, scrape it up, rake it up, put fresh stuff down. That's another great way to prevent it. But also using things like stones. You know, you can always go with a stone mulch. That's a natural mulch that's, you know, it's far more expensive, not as pretty, but it won't have shotgun fungus. So there's a few options for you. So check out this damage. This is nuts. All right, so check this out. So this is the side of our house and you'll notice, now you probably see them already, but if you don't, you're gonna start seeing more of them because <laughs> Once you see them, you cannot unsee them. They are everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Now, not just low, but high. Absolutely everywhere. Not just on the siding, but on the door. Look at this, look at this. You guys, this is insane absolutely insane and like I said it is everywhere so lesson learned you get this bare mulch here not good now to kind of show you something cool you'll notice that over here this is our this is where our driveway is so there's no mulch here now look at this siding see not a single black dot look at our Look at our, well, maybe don't look at our garage door. It needs some work. Um, I need to put a fresh coat of paint on it. But look, look at this. Look at this. There's no black dots. That's because there's pavement here. So there's no mulch for the shotgun fungus to breed in. But check this out. This clean. Coming over here, instantly you start to get, start to get black dots everywhere, everywhere you look. So that is shotgun fungus. Isn't that incredible? I mean, incredibly damaging, but also kind of cool in a weird way. I mean, I guess the biggest thing is knowing how to prevent it. Once you see it and you start to see the signs of it, knowing how to eradicate it, those are the silver linings, but it's a crazy, crazy fungus. I mean, never did I ever think that something like this would exist. And uh, I just can't believe that it happened to us and the damage that it causes. But if you ask the average person, they probably, like I said, they probably don't even know they have it because most people don't look at their home up super close like that. But once you start seeing it, maybe I, 
<laughs> maybe I should say, I'm sorry, you will never look at your home the same way again um, because you really won't. It just, once you see it, you can't unsee it. And like I said, it goes all the way around our home on every side of our home. It's just, it's so prevalent. You know, and cer certain sides have more of it than others. You know, the sides where we have lots of grass, there's a lot less of it. Sides where we have lots of mulch, lots of bagged mulch that we added, no good, <laughs> we have lots of it. So remember, don't use bagged mulch. If you do use bagged mulch, throw it on weed fabric, spray regularly with copper fungicide, or don't even go with mulch and use something like uh, stones or pea gravel, something like that, or plant it out heavily with lots of greenery to protect it from it splashing up on your house and your siding. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you all learned something new. And as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big or go home. And we'll catch you all later. See ya. Bye.